Greetings fellow developers and gamers, my name is Hedi. What you are witnessing in front of you right now is the current state of my indie game Project Yorwa Zero. However, to truly understand this journey, we need to rewind all the way back to 2022, where it all started. Our story begins two years ago, when I, a 17-year-old with a love for nostalgic games, dusted off my old Nintendo Wii console. I revisited Metroid Prime and the immersive Talon overworld with its memorable score reunited my passion for Metroidvania games. It was this experience that sparked the idea for my own game. I called it Dora Diginoid at the time. Inspired by Prime 2D and Mega Man, I began developing Dora Diginoid using the Gator 3 game engine. This was my introduction to creating a Metroidvania game. For aspiring indie developers, here is a tip. Start with what excites you, your passion to drive your project forward. When developing Dora Diginoid, I focused on the core mechanics that define a Metroidvania, exploration and platforming, before layering an additional complexity, keeping the project in control. The next milestone for me was to engage early with the community. Releasing the 2022 concert version of Project Dora Zero as Dora Diginoid on each show and receiving a lot of support was incredibly motivating. Itch.io is a fantastic platform for indie developers thanks to the supportive community, hence being ideal for early releases and gathering feedback. Encouraged by the positive response, I decided to elevate the project, inspired by the stunning visuals of Project Octopath Traveler. I transitioned from 2D to 2.5D graphics or HD today as Square Enix likes to call it and moved to the newer Go.4 engine for Project Yora Zero. The change from Dora to Yora wasn't just cosmetic, it involved a complete overhaul of the art style and story. Thank you for joining me on this journey. This is just the beginning. Stay tuned for more updates as Project Yora Zero continues to evolve. Until next time, keep creating and stay inspired. Hedy Dev signing out.